All right, Vulcan stories. What do I remember from working at Vulcan Video? Uh, I worked there from 2002 to 2006. Uh, that's some context for you. I worked at the 29th Street location for most of that with Richard Dorset, um, the late great Richard Dorset, and he was a very opinionated guy. Uh, I recall that the uh, it was a lot of fun to talk with Richard, um, and uh, we would put things into his employee pick shelf, uh, which I don't believe ever changed the entire time I was there. It always had, oh, lucky man, in the very corner. So every time I walked in the store, the very first thing I saw was Malcolm McDowell's big face uh, in the uh, uh, VHS, the enormous clamshell VHS of, uh, oh, lucky man. Um, Richard was very opinionated about what belonged on the director's wall. Um, you couldn't just add somebody to the director's wall. And... I recall that he and Greg Nance had disagreements about that. Now, I might be completely making this story up because, as people will tell you, I was hungover almost every single shift at Vulcan Video. Um, I cannot offer any um, valid excuses for that, except for the fact that I was in my early 20s, I guess, and kind of a prick. So, uh, I apologize. Uh, anyway, <sighs> I might be making this story up, but... Uh, I believe Greg wanted to add Michael Mann to the director's wall, and uh, Richard did not agree that Michael Mann was important enough to uh, merit inclusion with uh, all the greats, uh, Hitchcock and Frankenheimer and Ken Russell and all that sort of stuff. Uh, at this point, Michael Mann had not yet made Miami Vice or Black Hat, so you can see where he was coming from. Uh, but what I recall is that um, Greg unilaterally decided to add Michael Mann one night, which is a pretty involved process. You had to go into the system and change, you know, the coding and make new stickers and make a little display and stick it on the director's wall. Um, and so I, I recall he, him doing that and uh, Richard finding out a few days later and uh, <laughs> snatching the DVDs off the shelf and uh, slamming them onto the counter and, you know, uh, making us go through uh, each and every single one and put them back where they belonged um, because they uh, had had failed to meet the standards of Richard Dorset for uh, great filmmakers of the world. Um, what else did I do there that was fun? I probably took my employee picks a little too seriously. I, I changed them out once every two weeks or so. I recall at Halloween one year, um, I filled it with nothing but Reese Witherspoon comedies, uh, which was a joke that was funny only to me, I think. Uh, speaking of jokes that were only really funny to me, I uh, wrote a very heartfelt um, makeshift homemade DVD cover for uh, the Sledgehammer TV series um, that if it happens to turn up at the Vulcan estate sale, I would love to have back. Um, it's, uh, uh, what else did I do there? Um, I don't know. We had a lot of fun there. Um, we uh, watched a lot of bad movies on the in-store uh, TV. I try to think of what we watched there the most, uh, depending on who I worked with. Um, if I worked with Danica, we almost always watched Time Bandits or something with Tim Burton uh, uh, production values. The Adventures of Baron von Munchausen, I think I saw uh, at least once a week for a while. Purple Rain, I definitely saw at least once a week. Um, Breaking Two was on there a lot. Um, I probably subjected people to a whole lot of movies that I'd watched on HBO in the 1980s. Uh, Just One of the Guys, I'm almost positive I, I played for everybody uh, more than once. Um, when I worked with Miguel and Sam, it was skateboarding videos a lot. I saw a lot of, a lot of skateboarding videos uh, at my time there. Uh, a lot of guys getting racked uh, with their decks. Um, yeah, I'd love to say that we watched nothing but... Um, uh, outsider art house cinema, but uh, our tastes are pretty lowbrow during the day, it seemed like. Um, listen to a lot of music, too. Um, what else? Uh, I know that I pressured Richard into purchasing DVDs that he didn't necessarily want to pick up, uh, purely for my own selfish reasons. Um, I made him purchase the first season of that Eliza Dushku series, True Calling, just because I wanted to see it and check it out because I, I was such a big uh, Joss Whedon fan at the time. Um, and I don't think anybody rented it for once. 
after I took it home. Um, and hopefully I did not uh, uh, bankrupt Vulcan Video single-handedly by forcing him to buy that uh, DVD set. Uh, I also uh, had Joe Shivers uh, down at the Elizabeth Street store uh, purchase Real Men on DVD, the Jim Belushi, John Ritter comedy. Uh, it's a great movie, in my opinion. Um, that never got rented as well. Um, God, did I did I drive Vulcan Video out of business um, with these um, with these purchases? I hope not. Uh, anyway, um, I I worked there for four years. I probably would have worked there forever had I not gotten a um, incredible job offer at, at, while I was literally shelving some VHS tapes, um, and for the entire fourteen years since I uh, left. Um, I have always said I never officially quit. I have harbored a fantasy of just calling and picking up some shifts or, you know, just going to put my name on a little scrap of paper next to the, the, uh, the employee phone where they would, um, or if you were desperate to go see a show, you would call around this list of people that hadn't worked there in a decade and see if they wanted to come fill in for four hours. Uh, I always wanted to be one of those and, um, the fact that uh, even even when I moved, I moved to Chicago for seven years, and uh, for seven years I kind of had this idea of uh, uh, moving back home and retiring with a, you know, a another job at Vulcan Video. Um, maybe I'd be in a better mood this time and uh, appreciate it more. Uh, the fact that I can't is is heartbreaking. Um, you know, it was a genuine uh, community of not only clerks but customers and. It was the most connected I, I think I ever felt uh, to Austin was when I started working there. Um, I, you know, literally, I think the day I had my first uh, shift there, I was going through just putting some uh, comedy movies away, and uh, I found uh, this recommendation note that had been written on one of the, the boxes, a very heartfelt uh, recommendation. Uh, it was by a really good friend of mine that I hadn't seen in a couple of years, and she had moved to New York, and I had totally forgotten that she'd ever worked there. Um, but it just made me realize, you know, like, that there was a sort of lineage of passionate um, movie lovers and uh, just all-around cool people that had worked at Vulcan that had uh, stretched out behind me and would, would go on after me, and it, it felt incredible to be part of that Um I didn't actually rent the movie. I, it didn't look very good, but um, but it was it was meaningful, all the same. Uh, <clears throat> I think I think that's about it. I, I I'm trying to think of anything else uh, that is anecdote worthy. Um, 